Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple. We love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life change and challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse. We packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert. Curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, just your judgment if you think i'll like it put in an offer the offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of june 2021 join us and our dogs Merlo and flora as we renovate our mason de Maitre. father-in-law fancied an airing so i've got him outside here digging a trench <laughs> It's not quite where we want it, but I won't tell him that till he's nearly finished. No, actually, it is exactly where we want it. <laughs> he's, I don't know quite why he's only just scratching the surface and not going down. Some, some complained about there being a couple of stones in the soil. <laughs> I better be quiet, otherwise <laughs> it may be six foot deep and my height and my length. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's good to keep um, keeping physically active. I don't know, Jim, but I've got your mother on. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're actually doing is putting in a trench to enable us to get uh, electricity and water to the uh, former laundry today he's come as a frenchman no he hasn't. he's just missing the onions What's that, mate? Huh? so you may have just heard someone at the other end of the garden try and involve herself in our conversation so let's go and have a look and see what's happening up here today Mother-in-law is doing some gardening for us. As it's such a nice day, we sat her outside reading the paper in the sunshine, but she felt with all of us working, she had to do something. So I found the secateurs, put some WD-40 on them to get them working, and she's hacking everything back. Um, well, I guess everything does need a hair, bit of a haircut periodically. So, whether or not it will grow again this year, I'm sure it will. Uh, well, will it grow for this year or is it... Hopefully, Nicholas, hopefully. Good. Yeah. No, they needed doing. Definitely needed doing. Everything's getting... Oh, look at this, look at this. Look. look. The mint, look. Look at this, look. I think I can zoom in enough. To, what's that? Rose mint. Mint. Rosemary. Beautiful. Thyme. Beautiful. I'll leave you to do the... I won't do the vine. No. i done the roses. The roses. Why won't you do the vine? Because you are the vine. Expert. I only looked it up on the internet and we're not really trailing it anywhere, are we? So. And look, look at the, get the bulbs in. Ah, yes. So we have some snowdrops and... Tete-a-tete. tete, -a -tete. tete, -a -tete Which are mini daffodils, aren't yes. they? They're the really tiny ones. Yeah. And some cyclamen. Some cyclamen. And, oh. and what are these? I'm not sure. Not sure. It's not muscari because the leaf's too broad to mus muscari, but oh, look, there's something. Ah, look. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, look, look. It, hyacinth. Hyacinth? Yeah, look. Fantastic. Mm. Just what I needed more of in my life. Hyacinths. 
Did you right. see our lily at the front? The, the flowers that were here aren't. I think the dogs have done something with them. What, what are we looking at down there? There's more There's hyacinths. More bulbs, yeah. And lots of jasmine. When you say jasmine, is this what they make tea out of? Oh. Okay. That's a shame. And more sure. bulbs. Well, it's not I, I, it? don't, I, mm, I don't know. No. Well, we'll leave it another week or so and mm. find out. Mind you, whatever they are, just probably going to be weed on. <laughs> What's over this way? Oh, oh. Yeah, oh there's another one of these. Yeah, I'm sure that's a tulip. Mm, we'll find out in a bit. Yes, daffodils, daffodils. on their way. Spring is here. You would think. We've got them in flower in the garden. Well, of course you have. Yeah. Because we're warmer than you. One degree warmer than you are. Right, come on then. Let's get back. Yep. Let's all get the job done. So whilst father-in-law is outside, gradually, I mean really gradually digging that trench, um, I've got the angle grinder ready uh, to try and remove this pump, which um, is well, a very nice pump, but we don't want it here. Um, so I'm going to cut it off at the bottom uh, and where it fixes through the wall and see if I can get it out, um, which will allow us to then start making progress on the interior of this building. <laughs> so I've got the angle grinder ready. We'll see whether my bargain uh, dish that, that I bought from Action, which is uh, a very cheap shop, let's see whether they actually do the job or not. Safety first. I've just lost about half of that blade. This is better than an episode of Time Team. It's hard work, but we're making progress on the trench, or trench number one, because it's going to be two, one for the electric and one for the water. Um, it would be nice and easy if they could just both go together, but for some strange reason, we can't. can't think why. So we're down to about... <laughs> about, about seven or eight inches down this end where I've been working and a bit shallower up that end. We've gone through the initial layer of... No, we haven't. No, we haven't. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting to sand, so we don't need to go to the beach anymore. We've got our own sand here. Um, it's going to take us a little while, and I think, given wow. that... This afternoon uh, for a treat for my mother and father coming I have made or I am in the process of making a paella that my husband requested I make now it's only taken a visit to well one shop yesterday two shops this morning to be able to get all of the ingredients for this paella but hopefully it should turn out really nice because it's lovely out there today well, there we go. We dug the trench to... Oh, hello, dogs. A car went past. There we go. Oh, blimey. One hit wonder. That's, um... That's the whiskey. It's a way to let me out Well, after lunch, maybe. That's that one. That's through. Alright. The whole thing's through. I need to do the middle one now. Yeah. Nearly. I reckon if you hit that, it'll come off. Or if I hit that, it'll come off. Ah. 
I was right. Old right, men old men, good. old men do things good. Episode five or six, I think that was. You are not going to lift that over there. Aren't I? That was fun. We now don't, don't have a pump there and have a pump in bits over here. Whatever we end up doing with that, don't know. So we now have just a hole in the floor. And this concrete lid with a ring. I wonder whether we have a well underneath there. Now the other thing, I bought this bottle of sherry in England before we came over. I'm just going to add a nice slug of that in. Finding sherry over here is really hard. So if you're in the Charente region and you know where I can get any sherry, send us a message. We better just add in a nice slug of this wine as well. Nobody likes dry paella. And there we have one finished paella. Yum yum. Well, we need to, to get some insulation and uh, a damp proof membrane on the floor and then put some concrete down to level it up because I don't, you probably can't see it on camera, but there is a gradual slope from that corner down here. In fact, there's a drain drain that runs down the side of that wall there and out through underneath where the door was. Been out and sourced a load yesterday and today, sourced a load of materials. Um, so I'll give you a little tour of what I've got. Um, well, you can see where I've been getting this one. This was delivered this morning. Um, a couple of enormous bags of gravel, a couple of tons there. Um, stupidly, um, I had the idea that I was going to carry the bags of cement 
into the barn here to keep them dry. So rather than getting the, the man to, to, to leave them over there, he left them here for me just to carry into the barn. And, well, <coughs> that's there. All 35 kilo bags of cement. I thought I'd actually just leave them there and put a tarpaulin over because they need to be protected in case of rain. So what else have I been buying? I've been buying waterproof membrane. High density polythene. Uh, yeah, so that's insulation. So the plan is I'm going to put the insulation down on top of the polythene water damp proof course and then um, concrete over that. A tileable shower tray. So it's just one piece of material with a slight slope towards the drainage channel, which you then tile over once that's laid. I think I've now got everything to actually get on and do some work so driving around whilst it's fun and nice and seeing the countryside isn't actually making progress it's all necessary to get the materials um, but it's not doing the work so um, I think first thing tomorrow roll the sleeves up and crack on with work well as you can see I've pretty much emptied this room now so I've done it I've got the pipe poking into the wall, running what looks like uphill, downhill anyways, to where the shower waste is. I've marked on the wall where the shower screed will be underneath the shower tray. Starting to lay out the insulation panels now. Um, got the shower waste where I'm going to want it to be, um, which will then fall towards this exit here. Well, I've laid the panels double thickness here, single thickness here, and none here um, where it, the floor tapers up to. The corner over there which is the highest point concrete is being mixed and we're doing this little patch first this is where the shower base is going which is going to be a different height to everywhere else um, so it's a little patch that we're just doing today and then uh, father-in-law is coming back in a couple of days time and we'll get going on the rest of the area. I have a pile of logs, um, which all need to be split up. And luckily, father-in-law has a log splitter, which he's bought up and left with me here, um, which is a lot easier than doing it by hand. And as I've got a bit of time, I thought I'd get some split up. I've just turned some of the logs into that big pile. Well, I've had enough for today, it's getting dark, so I'm going in. 
It's a Sunday evening, I'm home from doing my full-time week of work this week and I'm treating myself to a glass of champagne. And why not? I also treated my mother to a glass of champagne earlier. And I'm just about to start making Mr Butcher a Sunday roast chicken dinner and doing some cleaning. Yay! So this evening it's a winner winner chicken roast dinner for everyone on a Sunday evening, including doggy dinners. Oh Merlo, here's your dinner. Merlo, you've got a Yorkshire pudding. Remember to chew. Flora, and here's your dinner. Here's your dinner, Flora. Remember to chew. Hi, and welcome to Wine of the Week. Yay, wine! <laughs> uh, this week we have a brewery, uh, which is a, a nice soft red wine, usually. And it was a bargain at, I think it was about six euros or under in Lidl this week. So there's an added bonus. Bargain. And you can see on the table here we have the daffodils from our garden, they came out a couple of days after Barbara's tour. Um, had some help from Mike this week, uh, sourcing lots of materials to, to do the floor in the laundry. And uh, you, yeah. You enjoyed digging your trench, didn't you? Yeah, so it's been a productive week. So, uh, looking forward to a glass of vino. Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> It was a beautiful player. It was just missing some muscles that we couldn't get. Hey ho. Right. Summer player to look forward to soon. So if you've enjoyed watching this episode, um, please give us a like. Um, hit, the, hit the subscribe button as well, then you'll uh, be able to follow us a lot more easily. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or you can look at our blogs at Well, until next week. <laughs>